Nowhere are you likely to find more mysteries than within the depths of space. When it comes to what we know about space compared to the things that we do not know, the list of unknowns outweighs the list of knowns by an incredible amount. Because the universe is constantly expanding in an infinite stretch beyond us, we can say with absolute certainty that we will never be able to completely understand the intricacies surrounding all of the strange mysteries of space. However, that certainly has not stopped anyone from trying. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three new discoveries and diving into what they mean for our ever-evolving understanding of space. Powerful Cosmic Flash is likely Neutron Star Merger Neutron stars have remained one of the more mysterious aspects of astronomy, but a recent discovery has led researchers to speculate that they might not be as rare as first believed. These celestial bodies, known as neutron stars, are interesting because of their incredibly high density compared to their very small radius. A typical neutron star measures only about 30 kilometers across, making them veritable specks in the wide expanse of space. Likely formed by the remnants of massive supernova explosions, they are composed of densely packed neutrons containing the mass of the entire Sun in such a small space. Occasionally, these neutron stars will combust in cataclysmic mergers that can be captured and studied via imaging technology although it can be hard for researchers to determine whether an explosion was caused as a result of a neutron star collision or something else, such as a gamma ray burst. However, new ways of capturing these explosions have shown researchers that perhaps neutron star mergers are much more common throughout the universe. After a discovery of a neutron star collision that generated both light and gravitational waves, named GW170817, was made in 2017, astronomers began to consider that there might be a new way of searching for these occurrences. Expanding upon Albert Einstein's theories regarding using ripples in space-time to probe objects within the cosmos, an expansive multi-messenger astronomy project began which allowed researchers to combine gravitational wave technology and electromagnetic radiation to probe space in ways that had never been attempted before. Although GW170817 was the first recorded neutron star merger, once these principles were employed in the study of other instances, they discovered that we had likely observed such mergers many times before without realizing exactly what they were. For example, a gamma-ray burst named GRB150101b was recorded by NASA's Fermi Gamma-ray Space Telescope and confirmed by multiple other recordings, including the Hubble Space Telescope, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, and Neil Gerrell's Swift Observatory. But now researchers looking at it with this new scientific lens believe that this explosion may have been the result of a collision between two neutron stars. Jeffrey Ryan, with the University of Maryland at College Park and co-author of the study, released a statement explaining the instance of mistaken identities, saying, We may have a case of cosmic lookalikes. They look the same, act the same, and come from similar neighborhoods, so the simplest explanation is that they are from the same family of objects. If this is the case, and explosions that were previously categorized as gamma-ray bursts may have been misidentified neutron star explosions, then the incidences of neutron stars are likely much less rare than researchers first believed. As Ryan said, this could hint at an entire category of objects that exist within the cosmos that have not yet been identified. Eleanor Trozier, lead author of the study, said, Our discovery tells us that events like GW170817 and GRB150101 B could represent a whole new class of erupting objects that turn on and off in X rays and might actually be relatively common. Fellow co author Henrik van Erten continued We need more cases like GW170817 that combine gravitational wave and electromagnetic data to find an example between a neutron star and black hole. Such a detection would be the first of its kind. Our results are encouraging for finding more mergers and making such a detection. Multi-messenger astronomy has allowed scientists to view space in an entirely new light, which will hopefully usher in a new era of new discoveries. Astronomers discover a trio of quasars 
Although there are many aspects of space that are difficult to wrap the mind around, there are some things that are simply mind-boggling, among them quasars. These celestial bodies, which are extremely mysterious, appear to be unbelievably massive and remote objects that emit almost unprecedented amounts of energy and appear similar to stars when viewed through telescopes. As they differ from stars in nearly all but appearance and are powered by the enigmatic energy of black holes that lie at the hearts of galaxies. Their energy is so profoundly massive that one single quasar could shine 1,000 times brighter than 100 billion stars, all the while from a body that takes up a smaller volume than our solar system. And even more shocking than viewing one quasar is the fact that scientists have located three such bodies in close proximity to each other a phenomenon that had never been considered possible before. George Jagowski, with Caltech and leader of the discovering team, spoke of just how rare such a discovery like this is, saying that quasars are extremely rare objects. To find two of them so close together is very unlikely. If they were randomly distributed in space, to find three is unprecedented. Because it's believed that quasars are generated when gas falls into supermassive black holes, it's very likely that one cause of quasar formation could be the collision or merging of galaxies. If this is the case, it would help to explain how three such rare objects could have appeared so close to each other. This would make the quasars an even more interesting point of study, as it would mean that they represent the interactions of three galaxies in conjunction with at least one black hole. Although scientists now understand that there is a fundamental relationship between galaxy formation and nearby supermassive black holes, including within our own Milky Way, the particulars of this relationship have been much less forthcoming due to the difficulty inherent in studying black holes. Finding such an unbelievably rare trio of quasars likely indicating the collision of galaxies during a time in the solar system when galaxy formation was rampant has a large amount of potential for helping scientists understand this relationship better. Continued study of these quasars will hopefully help to advance our understanding of how we came to be here in the Milky Way in the first place. Galaxy Collision Creates Space Triangle in New Hubble Image When viewing space through the lenses of ultra-powerful telescopes, researchers are never quite sure what they might see or discover next. In one recent instance, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope captured amazing images of a head-on collision between two galaxies, which fueled an incredible star-birthing frenzy that took place around the collision site in an unusual and stunningly vibrant triangle formation. The collision occurred between spiral galaxy NGC 2445 and NGC 2444, collectively called ARP 143 after their impact, which appears to have happened as a result of these galaxies passing through each other, resulting in a cosmic tug of war between the gravitational pulls of the two entities. It appears that NGC 2445 is winning the battle, as it is continuously pulling gas from its counterpart and it is this action that has fueled the birth of massive amounts of stars that surround the former galaxy in the strange triangle shape. Julianne Dalcanton, with the Flatiron Institute's Center for Computational Astrophysics in New York, explained the process resulting in such an unusual formation in detail, saying that simulations show that head-on collisions between two galaxies is one way of making rings of new stars. Therefore, rings of star formation are not uncommon. But what's weird about this system is that it's a triangle of star formation. Part of the reason for that shape is that these galaxies are still so close to each other, and NGC 2444 is still holding on to the other galaxy gravitationally. NGC 2444 may also have an invisible hot halo of gas that could help to pull NGC 2445's gas away from its nucleus, so they are not completely free of each other yet, and their unusual interaction is distorting the ring into this triangle. As the apparently stronger NGC 2445 uses its counterpart's gas to fuel such unique star formations, NGC 2444 is fighting back, pulling strands of gas back towards itself, which further stokes the young, recently formed stars and gives the appearance of a sort of bridge being created between the two warring galaxies. It seems that the streamer-like configurations of stars are likely some of the first stars created within this system, 
coming into existence between 50 and 100 million years ago, with younger stars blinking into life closer to the stronger galaxy's center. And the trail of new stars only continues to grow as the two galaxies slowly pull away from each other, even while NGC 2445's center continues to fuel the rapid formation of more new stars. Amazingly, the images from the Hubble Space Telescope are so clear that researchers can view some of these stars individually and study the effects of this galactic tug-of-war on the space surrounding the event. The study of events such as this one allows researchers to gain a better understanding of the interactions that must have occurred billions of years before life began on Earth for the universe to look and act the way that it does today. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.